I won. In a previous video, I showed you how I assembled most of the basic frame for my basement workbench that I built out of particle board. Today, we'll finish the workbench, making it ready for building projects. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I make weekly videos of electronics, code and journal making, and I'm sure you'll find something of interest. To be among the first to see the new videos, make sure to also click on the bell icon to get notified about my releases. Now that the support structure of the bench was ready, I continued the assembly by installing the lower horizontal surface. This will serve as a shelf for some of my power tools and occasionally for a temporary storing of project pieces while I'll continue working on others on the top surface. As you can see, because of the size of the piece and the way the table is assembled, I needed to insert this piece before I added any of the top cross support pieces. I tried several ways of getting it in, but none of them worked and I decided to remove one of the leg pieces on the side. Using some offcuts, I supported the lower stretcher and installed back the leg piece before I attached the shelf. If you happen to follow this project and decide to build a bench like this for yourself, make sure to first install the shelf and only then proceed with installing the top support pieces. Now that the board was in, I've marked some location and half of the board thickness along the edge of the shelf and I pre-drilled the holes for the screws. I used 50mm long screws here so there is plenty of support to keep the shelf flat. Next, I used my speed square to transfer the height of the shelf on the sides, marking some locations for support screws and I used the drill to make some holes. With the same 50mm screws, I joined the shelf with the sides as well, so it adds rigidity to the entire workbench. At first, I was not planning to do any finishing on the workbench, and I wanted to leave the particle board exposed just to see how it will behave and how long it will last. However, when I posted the first video about the bench, a lot of you commented that the particle board will draw humidity from the air and recommended that they add a coat of paint to minimize this. So now that I was going to paint the workbench, I also used some wood filler and applied it on all of the exposed edges of the particle board. Additionally, I applied it on all of the connections, making sure not to lift too much as I didn't want it to send a lot later. It is crucial to mention that I did not bother to hide any of the screws I've used to assemble the workbench. The reason for it is that they will be painted over later, and since this is a workshop piece, it does not need to be pretty. Additionally, I have some plans to upgrade it in the future with some extra features, so I might need to drill or cut somewhere and I wanted to be able to remove any screws that is in the way. When the filler was dry, I used 120 grit sandpaper on a sanding block to quickly knock off any of the high spots left from the filler and after wiping the entire table with a cloth, I flipped the table upright and added a layer of white primer paint on the bottom. I started the painting process with a sponge roller but something was wrong with it and it wasn't spinning right, so I switched to using a brush. I had the primer paint left over from a previous project and since I did not have much, I only applied a relatively thin coat. If this was to be a furniture piece, I would have applied a thicker layer or at least one more layer after the first one was dry. Instead, the next day with the help of my son, we added a thicker layer of paint around the entire support frame and the lower shelf of the workbench. Again, I did not bother to sand in between the primer and the paint since this is a shop piece and I can live with the way it looks. 
Also, we did not wear any respirators as my basement is really well ventilated with doors on both sides, but you should always wear one or preferably work outside. With the workbench painted, I placed the work surface piece on top, align it with the front of the table and use the measure to center it from the sides. This piece is designed that it has some overhand on the sides and the back, but not at the front, as I will be building a vise to use the front for clamping. The side and back overhang will be used for clamping projects to the workbench. With the top, I decided not to do any finishing, as I'm expecting to get beat up quite fast and it will probably be the first thing that fails on the workbench. If that happens, I can quickly remove it and replace it either with another piece of particle board or with something stronger if the frame is still holding up after a while. Again, to fasten it to the frame, I added screws from the top on all of the sides and support pieces in the middle, not bothering to hide any of them. I did have plans to add some leveling feet to the workbench, as my basement floor is not that straight, but I checked the top and it was perfectly level where I placed it. As I don't plan to move the bench anywhere else, I've decided not to add them for now. At first, I was not sure if the particle board will be strong enough for a workbench, but now that the table is assembled, I'm confident that it will hold for at least several years. This is perfect for me, as I'm not a woodworker and I won't be handling heavy project on it, but instead, I plan on doing smaller projects and it should be perfect for this. As I said earlier, I do have some plans for adding extra features to the workbench like storage and a vise, so be sure to subscribe in order to see that. If you want to build a similar bench for yourself, there is a link in the video description to the SketchUp model that I made for mine. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and until the next one, thanks for watching.